So Thales was the first guy that we know about um, who measured something using uh, the method of indirect measurement, which uses similar triangles. And he actually measured the heights of the Great Pyramids in Egypt, which kind of blew people away at the time. This was around the 6th century BCE. And it's kind of an ingenious method. And we'll, we'll follow in his footsteps and show how to do it. And the, the whole key to this is that similar triangles have proportional corresponding sides. So let me show you what I mean by that. So um, we want to measure the height of this tree here. Um, and for whatever reason, you know, I guess we don't have a tape measure that's long enough or these branches are so thick that it would just be a pain to try to figure out how to run a tape measure up it. Um, so we want to figure out how, how tall this is, but we don't want to measure this directly. Well, what we can do is we can take this green pole, which we can measure very easily. Uh, I've measured it. It's two meters. Um, use your imagination. It's two meters tall. Um, and what happens is that the sun because it's so far away, you can consider all its incoming rays to be parallel to each other. I'm not doing a very good job of drawing parallel lines, but basically what what that means is all objects that cast a shadow at the same time, um, the the angle that the that the sun causes will be um, these will all be the same. So this angle and this angle are congruent. Um, an object and its shadow form a 90 degree angle, so these two angles are congruent. You know, equal when by definition, um, these angles have to be congruent. So, uh, so all three angles, um, or the three corresponding angles, are are congruent, and that means these are two similar triangles, which means that their corresponding sides are proportional. So, um, this side of of the big triangle, it corresponds to this side of the small triangle. So, the ratio that these form, um, 27 to 3 has to, by, def by definition, um, because they're similar triangles, has to be equivalent to the ratio that this side of the triangle forms with this side of, th of the green pole, because uh, these are corresponding sides. So we'll just put a question mark there. We'll figure that out. Um, over, and then this was 2 meters. OK, so now we've set up a proportion. And we simply have to solve it to, to figure out what the height of the tree is. So um, we'll just cross multiply. So um, I'm going to call this question mark x, just easier, right? So um, question mark times 3, I'm going to write that as uh, 3x, 3 times x. Um, in your mind, you can think of that as a question mark if you wish. Equals, you know, cross multiply this way, 27 times 2, um, which is f 54. So uh, 3x equals 54. And you, know, you can simply solve for x. Um, x is being multiplied by 3, so you can just divide both sides by 3. Um, 54 divided by 3. Uh, 3 goes into 5 once. You got 2 left over after that. Bring down the 4. 3 into 24 goes in 8 times. 8 times 3 is 24, no remainder. So that missing side is 18 meters. So we just calculated without even touching the tree how high it is. It's 18 meters because the triangle that it forms thanks to to the rays of the sun is similar to the triangle that forms um, from any other object that is uh, perpendicular to the ground like that. So something that we could very easily measure like the little green pole. Um, it's similar so we know that the corresponding sides have to be proportional so boom we have to figure out just what the height of the tree has to be mathematically. So pretty cool trick. Try it at home.